Today we are going to check out Evervoid Armor in Survivor.io to see just how good it is. Like and subscribe. With Evervoid Armor, we are going to start the match with one extra skill choice. We will also gain an energy shield with 30% of max HP when dying, once per battle and this resets on revival. In addition, skill damage plus 20% and then we have a skill called Preservation. HP recovery through supplies also restores 10% of energy shield. I have the Eternal Forge effect unlocked which is Halberd Shield, shield damage plus 10%. Damage up when shield is active. Unrelenting, after taking no damage for 10 seconds, slowly restores stores 2.5% of energy shield every second. Will not exceed max shield HP. Let's go use this in battle. Maybe we can become invincible. Here's the equipment that I'm using. I'm using Merica with these deploying skills and these tech parts right here. Here is zone operation challenge nine. And we are going to start out with a skill selection choice. You know what? I'm grabbing the drone. And here's another skill selection choice. Let's grab the drone again. Now, what I would like to do here is essentially take damage and get our shield up. So maybe we can do that with this battle weather right here and here we go we are losing hp and there's our shield that little white bar on master yang is our shield and as you see we do have a bubble around us okay let's see what happens when we take damage from the blizzard Uh oh we are going to die that blizzard took away our shield and we're dead so the downside of evervoid armor is that you don't get to revive murka dealt the most damage here is zone operation challenge nine again and here is our first skill selection choice and our second let's use our refresh i guess i'll grab palm wind again Again. All right, this time I'm going to grab the batteries. I don't want to die. We need to become invincible. We need a permanent shield. Okay, our shield is up. Let's see. Let's see if the blizzard will take away our shield. Yes, it is. It took it away and we're going to die again. No, don't die. Stay alive. But we got our shield back just before we almost died. So instead of reviving, we got a shield and it looks like our damage is going to be increased. Here's the boss at the three minute mark. It is Tulip Hunter and they died. We are too OP for this zone operation challenge, but I wanted to essentially show you guys that we can really become invincible. We can get a permanent shield if the enemy isn't strong enough, and the enemy isn't strong enough here. I can run into them all I want, and they still can't remove my shield. But here comes a blizzard, and the blizzard is damaging us, but we're not losing as much health as we were before. Now we are. Let's stay alive. Okay, I'm going to try to take damage here from these enemies. Look at all these snowballs. There are a lot of them. So let's try to run into these snowballs snowballs. Let's try to take damage. We're taking a little bit. I can feel my phone vibrating, but it's not enough. It's never enough. And here comes two bosses and they both died together. They were husband and wife. Now let's see if we can take damage. Not really. I need to feel pain. No matter what I do, I can't get the shield off me. I'm invincible. There's really nothing I can do. So yeah, that's Evervoid armor. We can get a shield. It can regenerate. We can increase our damage once we have a shield activated. It does require a lot of resources to level up. And here comes another blizzard. Will it affect us? I haven't grabbed any batteries just yet, but we're still alive. We're actually doing it. Our shield saved us. It worked. I think a lot of testing still needs to go on, and I think since this armor does require a lot of resources, we might not ever know its true effects. For now, other armor works well. Armor Aquitus works well in stages, and here's the final boss. King Rat. King Rat is dead. And the Eternal Suit works well in Ender's Echo, Clan Expedition, and other places, especially against bosses. Havoc Nova dealt the most damage, followed by the fuel barrel. I like Evervoid armor, but as I said, it's going to take a lot of resources to forge it, and then we can truly know where it stands. What do you think of Evervoid armor? Let's hear it in the comments below. Smash like and subscribe if you want to see more Survivor.io content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.